So a serial killer is an individual who kills at least three individuals, and there is a cooling off period in between each murder. Normally, a, um, from the beginning to the end, you have at least 30 days. You're talking about, as I said, at least three victims, um, usually more than that. Um, depending upon how long a serial killer operates, you could be talking about um, double digits. Um, probably the, one of the most prolific serial killers I've ever seen was Andre Chikatilo. Chikatilo, at the time of execution in Soviet Union, Chikatilo, um, more than 50 victims. And all of his victims were children, young people. Okay, there were a few um, young women that he killed, but more than 50 people. Um, when you start looking at um, you know, individuals like Green River, Gary, Gary um, Ridgeway, now we're looking at, you know, more than like 1920 um, individuals. So serial killers operate for long periods of time. They oftentimes will uh, fly under the radar because they are incredibly good at what we call impression management. So, um, like for instance, the um, BTK, who was recently apprehended, um, BTK was in so many ways the person that nobody would have thought would have been a serial killer. He was married, he was um, a member of the community, people knew him, he killed for a number of years, then went dormant, and then came back. And when he came back, people started putting two and two together and they figured out that that person who was right next door to them and had been right next door to them for like 20 years was an individual who had killed a number of individuals. And that's what you get with a serial killer.